If you pass your driving test after January the 1st, 1997, and you tow a trailer, you could be breaking the law, be uninsured and be liable to a fine of £2,000. Okay. The size of the reversing arrow will be set out according to the size of your vehicle and trailer together as a unit. Cones A and A1 are positioned starting one metre, that's just over three feet, into the area from the boundary line. Distance A to A1 is one and a half times the width of the widest part of the unit. A to B is twice the length of the vehicle and trailer. The overall length of the manoeuvre will be five times the length of the vehicle and trailer. The width of the bay will be one and a half times the widest part of the unit. The length of the bay will be based on the overall length of the vehicle and trailer as a unit. The candidate is required to drive the outfit forward to cones A and A1, which is five times the length of the outfit. Reversing the trailer to the left hand side of cone B, that's keeping cone B to the right, reversing into the bay specified by the markers and reversing keeping the trailer inside the cones and finishing with the trailer in a specified area at the back of the bay which is one meter in length and one and a half times the width of the trailer the candidate is allowed to get out of the vehicle to make sure if the trailer is in the box and they are allowed two corrective shunts <laughs> 